I welcome this third edition of Slovenia, your cooperation partner, which through the years developed into a widely used and essential information and communication tool for anybody who would like to work with the Slovenian business and scientific community. This is an efficient way to disseminate knowledge about the potentials and advantages of scientific and economic cooperation with Slovenia. I believe this initiative confirms the high potential Slovenia has for attractive scientific excellence. This can also be seen on the basis of Slovenia's participation in the European Union research framework programs, which has been very successful from the outset in the early 90s. Per capita number of Slovenia's projects, financed from the fifth and sixth framework programs, has been impressive. I hope this initiative will bring further and better cooperation between Slovenian and other European scientists and business communities in the coming years and wish all the success to the users of Slovenia, your cooperation partner. Slovenia is aware of the importance of applying and observing European law, which is after the accession to the European Union integral part of the Slovenian legal system. Slovenian enterprises and individuals have a certain responsibility concerning European law. On the other hand, they are the beneficiaries of advantages offered by the European law. The work of our court is of greatest importance for an effective protection of their interests in the fields of competition, state aids, dumping, trademarks and many more. As an EU member state, Slovenia also has its representatives in the highest European judicial institutions. As a European judge at the Court of First Instance, I can greatly contribute to a strict observance of European law and legal security of legal subjects in the European Union. Slovenia is a successful market economy. It still has a very good social security system. The unemployment rate is uh, being lower than uh, the EU 25 average. The Slovenian labor market is suitable for employers and investors that are looking for a highly skilled workforce. As a MEP, member of European Parliament, I will support such legislative activities that will enable the growth of the small and medium enterprises and at the same time ensure the protection of workers' rights. Slovenia is a very diversified country. This is a result of the contact of climatic and geomorphologic characteristics of the Alps, Pannonian lowlands and Mediterranean. It has also very extensive natural systems. As much as 37% of national territory has been classified among the protected areas under Natura 2000. Result of this is somewhere difficult transitivity of the territory unfavorable conditions for settlement and organization of economic activities. Slovenian government is therefore committed to an active policy of balanced regional development, aiming at eliminating differences in regional development. Differences between central area with capital Ljubljana and other two regions in the east and in the west are sometimes quite remarkable. Probably it's one of the major advantages of European Union for Slovenia, exactly balanced regional development and Slovenia intends to use all available instruments. Slovenia is a country with relatively low prices of electrical energy and with relatively low import dependency if compared to European Union. But Slovenia has also very well preserved nature. We are reaching the goals of European and Slovenian energy policies by increasing the security of energy supply, by encouraging policies of efficient use of energy and also by promoting the renewable energy sources. As a member of the European Parliament, I am supporting solutions which make better life for everyone. I support the submission of prices of electrical energy to market principles, 
But besides that, we also have to take care of the nature. Therefore, I support the policies of efficient use of energy and all the measures that promote clean and renewable energy, such as giving information to the public, education, innovation and research. Slovenia is a green and densely wooded country with Europe's second highest percentage of land under wood cover. This is also the reason why our country always gives an impression uh, of a vast and endless land. Anyone who has ever walked our woods experienced the wind whirling through the three crowns, the fresh air, the smell of trees and forest soil, the pleasant coolness of shade and the fluster of leaves. Pines in the karst, alpine firs, the oaks of the Lenska, or the beech trees of Notranska has always been an attractive and diverse setting for vegetation and wildlife. Humankind embarked on the path of evolution as hunters and gatherers, making the first lifeline of humanity. To these days, the woods have a major impact on our quality of life. Our forests are irreplaceable collectors, reservoirs and providers of water and an important source of oxygen. Slovenes values their forests, their overall coverage of our territory remaining on the rise. With Slovenia's accession to the European Union, can now benefit from the green treasures of Slovenia's forests, enriching by their natural and biotic diversity. And as a member of European Parliament, I will try to do my very best to prevent forests all around Europe. I can proudly say that Slovenia ranks among the most developed information societies in terms of the general use of Internet, expansion of networks of public Internet points, increasing mobile telephony, and greater accessibility of e-government services. As the member of the European Parliament and as a member of the Committee on Culture and Education, I highly support ICT-equipped schools. This will ensure that the success of Slovenian information society contributes extensively to the Lisbon strategy. As a speaker of the National Assembly, I used to be a chairman of Constitutional Committee. Uh, I know very well how difficult it is to uh, build up uh, a consensus on um, this uh, important uh, issue. That's why I'm uh, very pleased to be a part of uh, a debate in a committee here in a parliament here on uh, European Constitution. I consider this issue one of the most important issues uh, for the future of Europe. Um, I will try to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, use my experiences in uh, work of the committee back home t uh, here in uh, European Parliament, and uh, I I'm sure that. Uh, uh, what we need here is a um, um, strong uh, trust among all of us that European uh, Constitution is a base for the European future and that we have to work together in spite of political differences among us. For centuries we did not have kings nor statehood, but were industrious people with clear Slovenian identity and strong sense for culture. We have been great at small things. By the way, have you ever heard about unique Slovenian art of wooden wire, wicker work, painted beehives or hairs? Excellence in craft and vigorous small and medium enterprises continue to be an important source of economic growth in Slovenia as in other EU countries. As an MEP, I am convinced that the use of European funds for entrepreneurship will increase welfare in line with the Lisbon strategy.